Each and every year, the Georgia Farm Bureau sponsors a quality hay competition, which is designed to recognize excellence in production. A winner not only gets plenty of bragging rights, but also a very useful prize. A monitor's Damon Jones spotlights this year's winner, Paul Kelly from Monticello. As the old saying goes, you are what you eat. That's why it's so important for hay producers around the state to provide the highest quality product to keep the cattle industry thriving in Georgia. And no one did it better this year than Monticello's Paul Kelly, who won the annual Georgia Farm Bureau Quality Hay Contest. It was a great contest, and I'm just lucky enough to be the winner. But it's, uh, we're in the cattle cow-calf business. Uh, we raise Bermuda hay. Um, so, but this is, uh, this is the actual field. We're cleaning it off now. This is the actual field that the hay came off of. Uh, but we we feed, we do not sell hay. We feed all our our hay, and so but we join the, we uh, do the contest each year. As for his secret to success, Kelly says it takes the right timing and of course a little bit of luck. Timing's everything, and if the weather, I mean, I was just lucky to have the weather at the right time with the fertilizer at the right time. Of course, we'd already done our soil sampling and and put out the nutrients that we had to have. And then, of course, uh, you know, I was just blessed with rain. And when I got the rain at the right time and cutting it, cutting the hay at the right time. If you don't cut the hay at the right time, it's, you know, you got to cut it right maturity or you won't have it. For the 19th year, Vermeer has partnered with the Georgia Farm Bureau to put on this annual contest. It's a competition they believe helps producers really focus in on their quality. I feel it's important because a lot of people out here are raising a good crop but they're not cutting it at the optimal time. And, and I'd like to bring the focus into the difference between a crop that's cut at optimal time and one that's cut too late and how much more feed value that we can bring to our animals if we cut it at the proper time. And to the victor goes the spoils as Vermeer provides the use of one of their most advanced mowers to the winner for a full year. Today we brought the TM1200. The TM1200 cuts 15 and a half foot wide. It has two parallel bars, so it flexes very good. It has a better flex than even say an eight foot three point mower. So you can take it up and over terraces in low spots in the field. It's very flexible as far as the terrain that you can take it on. Yeah, it's, that's an amazing machine. I've just never been anything like that on this place, that's for sure. In fact, as soon as y'all head out, I'm headed in the field and we, I'm gonna cut all weekend with it. I sure am, I'm tickled to death. It is an awesome machine that uh, Vermeer's put out there. Speaking of awesome, Setzer has gotten to see some of the best hay operations around the state while handing out the grand prize, and there are a few things all of them have in common. But when I start looking at these operators that are doing this, they've all got nice, clean operations. They take pride in what their place looks like, as well as the pride that they take in the quality of product that they turn out. While there can be only one winner, each participant gets something out of this contest as they get to see how their hay stacks up to others around the state. You know the quality of your hay. I mean, you got to know what your what your hay is, what you're dealing with, what you're feeding the cows. If it's lower quality, of course, I have to supplement my cows. Right. Well, this the quality hay I sent in to the Farm Bureau that won this contest. You don't have to supplement a cow. Reporting from Monticello, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.